So with May being the May the 4th be with you month. Favorite Star Wars character? I know for you it's Jar Jar Binks, right? No. No. Oh. Favorite Star Wars character? Yeah. Hmm. Probably Han. Oh. Han and Chewie That's together. A... I don't even, you can't have one without the other, right? I can. Uh, even though, I love Han. Even I do believe Chewie's who knows how it would be, but they're making a a Wookiee. I think it's a Jedi. He's a Wookiee Jedi. Um, a Wookiee Jedi? Yeah. I mean, he hasn't been portrayed, but there are Wookiee Jedis. There are? In the lore, yeah. Oh. I mean, there's so much. I didn't much, know that. Well, there's so much <laughs> about Star Wars that yeah. if you've only watched films. No, I mean, the know. stuff like the from the films and in particular. I think it can be any of the Star Wars films, but mine's. So you top my who you have a top three, Han, Han, Chewie. I love yeah. I love them both. Um, Chewie's my number one. Uh, probably R two D two and C three PO. Do you yes. I have a I have a very strong number two. Who? It's Darth Vader. Oh, I, yeah. I love Darth Gotta Vader. I love Darth Vader. Yeah, him, him too. Not Luke. Just. Hey, welcome back to our stupid directs of Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks to Patreon, follow us Twitter account, subscribe and like button. Why don't you like Luke? Too goody two shoes. The actor or the, the... Either or. Yeah, you don't like Mark Hamill? I like him as a voice actor. He's a great voice actor. He is a great voice actor. There's a reason he hasn't done a lot other than Star Wars. It's, <laughs> it, it's true. He's a great voice actor. Um, he does the best Harrison Ford I've ever heard. Yeah, he does. He really does. Um, today we got a uh, something. We got a something for you. Uh, oh, this is a, a good dance song. Uh, this choreographer slash artist is part of... If not better, better than, than Prabhu Deva. Oh, they're talking about... We've he, he, they're they're from the same basically class. We've seen his. No, you you like his dancing. You've seen a lot of them. I'm sure I do, but uh, it's like someone telling me this tap dancer is as good, if not better, than Gene Kelly. My first response is going to be, "Excuse me." Uh, he's also a big choreographer. We've seen a lot of stuff that he's choreographed as well. Yeah, um, from from the same basically school as probably right, right, right. Um, been around equally as long, I think. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so let's just get into this. That was great. What That's fan incredible. So precise. <laughs> I don't believe that's him. I could be wrong. That's cool. Damn. 
there when it first started yeah. it got me there uh watch and enjoy engine from the tamil movie oh, okay so it is from a movie and was that actually that was fun was that actually him cast yes okay and i think he's around Prabhu's age so i think he's maybe around your age rick okay or maybe he's high 47s right what do you think was that him yeah that's him okay. 46 46 yep Okay, and probably I think he's around that same age. I think so. Maybe a year or two older. Yeah, 50. 50. Okay, gotcha. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so he's been around, around. He moves very well for a 47-year-old. Yeah, is this recent, I assume? Yeah, this came out uh, Yeah. The April 21st. Fantastic. Of this year. Still moves very, very well. Do you think dancers make the best choreographers, or do you think it's a specific skill set? Well, I think not all all choreographers are dancers. Not all dancers are choreographers. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. Um, because being a choreographer is a very different animal um, than just being a dancer. Do you think you have to be a great dancer to be a great choreographer? Uh, no. I think you have to be a good dancer. You have to be a competent dancer to be a good choreographer. Huh. It helps. Most great choreographers are also great dancers. Yeah. I mean, Bob Fosse was a great dancer. Um, uh, go down the list of the pretty much every. But, but here's what's interesting is the uh, choreographers have a longer life than the dancers do because yeah. you can you continue old. to yeah. yeah you can continue to do what you need to do, but you don't have the capacity to execute it the way younger people can execute it. Yeah. Uh, but again, not all people, for example, one of the greatest dancers I've ever been blessed to watch is, is Barishnikov, but I don't, I don't know how much he has done choreography for anything. Um, some are equal, like Gene Kelly and Fred Astaire did their own choreography. Mm. Uh, but yeah, not, not all dancers can do choreography. We, uh, Just like all, not all singers are songwriters. We uh, hired... Um, a choreographer for our million video. Yep. And, and a couple other professional dancers they brought professional and they were all amazing. But he, choreographers are very interesting. Obviously they're basically directors of dancing, right? Yeah, they really are. Um, and I've, I've done choreography for something before and it's, it's, I much prefer being told what to do than trying to come up with what people have to do. Yeah. It's not easy. It's not easy to do choreography. Yeah, you have to be it's a specific skill set, and I found that because originally I was gonna, we were just gonna watch the video and recreate the million video, but there were certain elements that we couldn't based off of where we were, and they yeah. had to come up with different ways that we could make this work, right? To make it still feel like the original video, but yeah. also make it not. So it's it's a very specific skill set, uh, and I'm glad we had him because he's a very good one. He's a great dancer. Great dancer. Um, but he As was, he were was, some of the other dancers with yes. us. I mean, when we were done, <clears throat> some of them were dancing. and I just, think we had six professional dancers. Yeah. And they were the ones, the, the guys that were always around us um, that were, you know, dancing better than us. <laughs> but yeah, that... That was that was wonderful choreography. That was really entertaining. Yeah. And not easy to execute, especially at that speed. Yeah. And I loved all the colors. It was just so much fun to watch. I bet in his younger years, um, 
he would do a dance that was equal speed to um, what the song was going. Because that's what I was yeah. waiting for. I was waiting for like a, an in dance that was equal the speed of where the sound was going. Right. I bet, and in, in, you know, he's almost 50. You can't blame him. Not at all. I bet it's much more difficult to keep up with that speed at his age. Just like it is Prabo. We've seen Prabo like in more current stuff. It's like, yeah, he does. He still moves great. Doesn't move like he used to. No. But it just happens. You can't. You can't. <laughs> you can't be like, oh, that would be incredible <laughs> if he could at 50 years old move like he yeah. did when he was 20. You, you, What you lose in speed, you gain in strength when mm. you get older. And it's why for most professional sports, by the time you hit your 40s, you're not going to compete because the speed is gone. Um, you're just you're not going to be able to compete at that level at that speed anymore, regardless of what the sport may be. But your strength's probably going to be pretty dang. I've seen guys at old timers games for baseball. There's there's guys in their seventies that can still hit it out of the park, yeah. but they're not going to be stealing any bases. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, anyways, great, uh, great song, uh, a lot of fun. Uh, please let us know more from uh, Red. Say his name. Yeah, Ragava Lawrence. And if that's mispronounced, teach uh, us and that we should, help us respect his name. And say it um, right. See more of him, whether he choreographed or obviously his dance. I know we've seen a lot, but yeah. uh, any others that we need to know? Let really us know fun. Down below. Just. <laughs>